Hello everyone, it's Cash here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a death animation in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, go to plugins, go to build rig, and then build a R15 or R6 rig. This is how many joints your character has. Now, most people use R15, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, now open animation editor. Now, if you don't have it down here, it should be in plugins and right next to avatar importer. All right, now what we're gonna do is open this and now select this rig and then create a animation called death anim. So this is your death animation. And now set the time of the animation to four seconds. Okay, now what we're gonna do is make the character have his body just fall forward. So what we're gonna do is go to add all right here, and then go down here and select every single one of these body parts. And now rotate it once and then rotate it back again. All right, and now you can copy these keyframes and put it anywhere that you need to. So I'm gonna make the death animation go right as it starts. So I'm just gonna go like this and we'll put it at like the 20 uh, millisecond mark. And we're just going to move the humanoid root part. Well, actually what we're gonna do is just select everything and then use the humanoid or basically copy everything uh, from this one, paste it over to this one, and then go to the hip and just drag it down like this. And now we're just going to move it over to where it would look like you'd fall. Now, if it does that and it looks like it's clipping through the ground, all you need to do is just select the lower torso, which is the hip, and drag it over a little more. Uh, drag it over more. Also, sometimes it just is weird like that. So, humans don't fall like that. Um, they would get suspended in the air if they feel like that. So um, what we're going to do is drag the feet up a little bit. And now if you did it, it would all just look like that. And we're also going to make the upper torso. So just select that and drag this back a little bit. But also take the arms... So both arms right here, the left upper arm and the right upper arm, and just drag it like this. And I think I wanna make it go like this. So it's like, um, Now right here, we're also gonna keep them up. So then it just looks like it just slams and falls. Um, and then right here, I'm gonna make these a little more stiff. So it kinda looks like he just falls to his knees. Uh, maybe a little. Uh, you can also go to rotate and like just change that so it looks better. And I gotta drag that right there. Right here, I'm also going to adjust the um, torso. So just go to upper torso and rotate this a little bit. And here we go. So this is honestly our death animation kind of finished. Um, now the arms are kind of weird to me, so I'm just going to uh, adjust actually the lower arms only this time, like this. And then I'm gonna copy that and paste it right here. So now it's like this. And right here, I think I'm also going to take the upper arms and do it like that. So now that actually looks good. Oh wait, actually I have a really good idea. Just select the arms and drag it like this. Perfect, that looks awesome. Okay, now you might be wondering why would we make it four seconds? Well, it's pretty simple. Just copy the last keyframe that you make and put it down here. 
at the four second mark. So then it lasts four seconds. Now you can make this animation as long as possible, but I recommend just four seconds. Now save it, set animation priority, this is important, to action, and then export it as death animation. Now if you're making a group game with other people, set the creator to the group, but if you're just making it yourself or in some one of your friends games, put it as you. Then copy the ID, and now you can delete the dummy or you can put it in like server storage to keep it just in case you want to edit your animation. Now what we're going to do is create a script in starter character scripts and then name it death animation and then put an animation under it and put your ID that you just copied into the uh, animation ID. Then call this animation death anim for short and now we can get to scripting. So local character equals script.parent, local humanoid equals character, wait for child, humanoid. Local death anim equals humanoid, load animation, script.death anim. Then humanoid dot uh, break joints on death equals to false. And then what we're going to do is just go down here and create a function and call this a death check and then name it health or not name it but put parameter right here called health and then press enter to make a function. Then all we're going to do is character dot humanoid root part dot anchored equals to true and then death anim play wait four seconds and uh, then what we're gonna do is very simple we're just gonna do script destroy alright so that's finished and now what we gotta do is go down two lines and uh, connect this function to something so do humanoid dot health change so whenever the uh, health change then connect health now, uh, or no, connect death check, my bad. Now, can you guys see the issue? Well, the issue is that whenever the health changed, it's just going to just keep playing this no matter what. So copy this or just control X or right click and cut. Um, now that copies it. Uh, just type if health is less than or equal to zero, then do this. All right, and now we just need a way to take damage. So close out of animation editor if you haven't already, uh, just so we can see the console. And then go to models and search up kill part, just so we can um, easily get killed. And uh, now if you wanna know how to script this, it's pretty simple. Um, now this, this isn't supposed to be here. Get rid of that, but uh, this is correct. So now, just walk into it. And, oh yeah, okay. So now, as you can see, we kept getting killed over and over. So a way to fix that issue is just go up here and do local debounce, or actually local dead equals to false. And then, if health, blah, 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 and dead equals to false, then, and then set dead to true, and then uh, right before here, now you won't even need uh, to do anything. Just set dead to true. That way you can't just keep dying over and over. So now if we walk into this, we fall over, and we respawn. Um, actually... Did the script destroy? It did destroy. Um, okay, so what you have to do is set this right here to false. And now when we die, 
and we should wake up like respawn yep so now when we die a couple seconds later and we respawn perfect all right guys that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one see you